okay so uh, what we can do is uh, in the container or the field we say instance is equal to object dot add component T so basically uh, whatever component or the was attached will also be stored in this okay so uh, what we can do now is return the new one we create okay oh sorry what am I doing return instance okay now there is one other smart thing we could do is if the instance is found to be null we could say mm, find objects of type maybe you know the instance was somehow not attached so instance is equal to find object of type t just in case okay if he finds it well and good we could say if instance is equal to no then do this otherwise you found it so well and good okay now uh, basically now our Mm, this plug-and-play way of uh, making singletons is done and we know it's working game state manager dot instance is working audio manager dot instance is working okay so what do we need to do now for now well let me first of all again repeat that what we have done is ensure that anyone any script and from anywhere in code you can access your state manager and audio manager whenever you want it so if the audio manager had a public void play sorry play sound method in it you could technically play sound from anywhere let's say it's the player script and you say audio manager dot instance dot play sound you did not have to drag or you know, do all of that wiring stuff okay so your, your audio manager is now a singleton therefore it's accessible from anywhere in code but let's do another interesting thing Imagine you wanted your game state manager to be available in all scenes. Okay, for that purpose, let's quickly create another scene. Let's call it scene two. Bad name, but let's say. Okay, so let me quickly add this scene to our uh, build settings as well. So we have these scenes accessible through the scene manager. Okay now let's suppose our what our gate game state manager does is as soon as it wakes up let's or maybe let's say start start what it does is it goes to scene two okay so or in your game maybe game state manager sets up the frame rate and things like that but game state managers primary functions would be to you know change scenes and you know load stuff etc or whatever your overall state of the game is so what it does now is let's say scene manager dot load scene let's go with scene 2 okay so all that does all it does is load up our scene 2 let's quickly test it play and we go into the scene 2 okay now all of you must know there is are is a certain way you can actually make things not get destroyed when a new scene is loaded which is quite quite useful for things like game state managers etc or event managers so imagine you do not want your game state manager to die when a new scene is loaded you want your game state manager to exist throughout the life span of your game application so what we do we do now so what we can do is we can create another variant of our singleton 
and we call it singleton persistent okay that's my usually you know that's my term and that's how i refer to it by persistent what i mean is it persists through scene loads okay so it does not kill itself when a new scene is loaded so you might have managers in your game some could be singleton persistent some could only be singleton for example you could have a menu manager which is only relevant in your main menu so it could be uh, only uh, inheriting from singleton but you could also have a game state manager or an event manager you want throughout your game to be available then you could have uh, inherited from singleton persistent okay so let's quickly make a variant of our singleton which would also make our script into a persistent manager which does not get destroyed while when a scene gets loaded okay so we do the basic simple things which we did previously we make it into a generic and we say where t is component and the whole singleton process is exactly the same so we copy paste it and we paste it here okay so now it is a singleton we want some extra functionality which would enable us to or make this uh, script into a, a persistent one as well so what we do is we want this uh, object to whenever uh, it wakes up imagine uh, you you load scene 2 and in the scene 2 you have uh, let's quickly create create empty let's say in the scene 2 you also have a game state manager why because uh, you grew tired of uh, having to go to scene 1 every time you wanted to test and uh, because you uh, your code gave errors if the game state manager did not exist because in a lot of places you were doing game state manager dot instance game state manager dot instance etc and your code gave errors if game state manager was not available and you were testing your game directly from scene 2 by pressing play okay so it made sense for you to quickly create a game state manager uh, uh, in that scene as well but that does not mean that when the actual game is run through the proper channel or through the proper scene if you come to scene 2 you will end up with two state managers what one would be the one coming from main scene because it would be persistent the other one would get born in scene 2 and you'll end up with two state manager which does defeats the purpose of having a single thing okay so what we need to do is whenever a persistent singleton uh, script wakes up it needs to check if instance is equal to null or not okay so it would say if instance <coughs> with the small i is equal to null if it is null okay then it knows that i'm the correct manager and i need to you know assume responsibilities okay first of all as soon as it wakes up it declares that i am a don't destroy on load object okay so which basically it, is a unity api which basically will ensure that this script does not get destroyed when you load scenes now after doing that it says okay let's see if i'm the only one here it says if instance is equal to null that then it means i am the only one here then it says oh, okay guys i'm the one so it instance is equal to this okay and we say as oh sorry instance is equal to this a where this stands for singleton persistent okay but instance stands for t so this instance can only contain imagine uh, at runtime it could contain state manager or an audio manager but we're saying this which is giving us an error because we need to do this as t so we're saying okay 
we don't want to store you as a singleton persistent object we want to store you as whatever was passed here okay so next point is uh, now it says okay i'm i'm the main dude then it says okay what else do we need to do it says don't destroy me if i'm the one although else if instance is not it equal to null which basically means you woke up and you realized that some other state manager or some other audio manager already exists then you say destroy game object okay you, you, you could do this as well but let's say we destroy it okay so uh you destroy yourself you basically kill yourself because you have realized that i'm not supposed to be here and whoever already exists has precedence okay now let's test this again we have a game state manager in scene two and we have a same game state manager in scene one let's play it and see what happens as soon as we play we go into scene two okay our game state manager is still inheriting from the wrong one okay so now we want our game state manager to be a persistent singleton so we inherit it from singleton persistent this time game state manager okay the audio manager still inherits from singleton so it would not uh, exist in scene 2 you will see okay let's play and as soon as we go to scene 2 we see that the the one who was present in the scene 2 killed himself or itself and don't under the heading of don't destroy and load we have a game state manager okay so what uh, uh i'm going to end this but what have we made we have made two scripts which are very reusable let me and which technically make your uh any script you inherit uh, uh from them into one of these two things either you can make a singleton or you can make a singleton persistent you can use these two scripts uh as you know plug and play base classes you know just put these two scripts in any project you start working on and you will have the ability to inherit any of your scripts from these two guys okay now i uh, wanted to make this video because it's important because uh, in the future a lot of my videos will uh, use these to make managers okay take care i hope you had fun please do comment i'm not getting a lot of uh, feedback i've just started this channel and I would appreciate some practical feedback. Thanks, guys.